welcome back everybody. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 496. If you're a medical practice and you rely on referrals like most specialists do, and you have some percentage of Medicare business in your payer mix, take a look at this website. The physician referral data. If you haven't been there yet, there's CMS data available that I've got access to that can give you all kinds of information about the market share of the major referring sources in your practice. When you have a minute, take a look at this website. You'll get all kinds of interesting information about how to use existing CMS data in your web, in, in your practice. There we go. What I want to do is talk about cards today. Cards is a different kind of visualization. Let's just build a little visualization. I'll show you what I mean. If we put location there and, oh, why not fee? So now I have locations and fee, and that's a table that you're used to seeing. From that table menu, we've looked at matrix. Now let's look at card. When we flip this to a card, and what we might do is, come here, try to make this a bit bigger. Okay, we'll make it a lot bigger so you can see it. This is a card visualization. And so you can see the different locations that I have here and the fee that's in each location and we can make these let's let's just go for really big so you can see so this is a card and what you can do is show one card this is a card here and I've got like four cards showing that right now I have a location and the fee and I could show the location and maybe oh let's throw the provider in there as well so if I put the provider here now I've got the location and the provider and the fee and notice how the card tries to keep everybody on one line, and if I went crazy, I could force it down to two lines. But a card is just kind of a simple snapshot way to look at information. The way I often use cards is rather than do a bunch of them, what I might do is come over and let's do a filter on this table, and let's only show, let's say I'm creating a dashboard for Garlic Hospital. That's probably what I do is I would filter and then you know I could hide the filter and I would just show Gardic Hospital and the fee there and I could play a bit with the information maybe I wanted to show the fee and two or three other variables total number of patients or new patients or whatever it is I wanted to see and I could look at it in one place as as a card on my dashboard and I could put a chart over here or a table or a matrix over there it's an interesting way to kind of call out or highlight what's going on what I'm going to do is take that filter off just for a second because I want to show you there's some things you, this is going to be a bit hard to see but if you look at sort by location right now it's sorting there and it's sorting ascending so I can sort here and sort descending by the name or I can click here and I can sort by the fee instead of by the location I can do descending fee or ascending fee see how the sorting works in cards it's all up here is what I'm looking for and then if I wanted to I could go back and filter and just show hey this is the only one or it, maybe for this physician I want to show two locations it's easy to filter the card to see what you want the other thing I want to show you before we finish is a card style so I'm in the design tab card style with with a card highlighted this is a call out looks a bit different where we're, we're focusing on the number as opposed to here the the emphasis was much more on the location and again once I do the call out style then let's throw we could throw provider in there and you can see how the different cards play if you choose the filters and get it exactly right typically what I do is one location and an amount and then I, you can play with it the best you want with filters that's what I wanted to show you about cards it's an interesting way in in the way I use them is to filter down to only show one card on a dashboard and I try to get the information I need as kind of a call out highlight this is what I want to see on the card as opposed to have a bunch of them and have to scroll that's not the way I use cards I typically do one or maybe two at a time to show and highlight just what I want to see in a card that's what I want to show you about cards and we've been through this list now what I want to do now is start talking about charts we'll do it in the next Excel video thanks for watching